Hi, I'm Lindsay Smith and I have Friedrich's ataxia. Friedrich's ataxia is a neurological debilitating disorder that um, affects basically everything in your nerves. Um, and then your muscles get weaker because of it. My disorder is one of the rarest forms of muscular dystrophy, so not a lot of people know about it. I work out with my just three pound dumbbells. Um, and I do arm workouts so that my arms can stay strong because with radix ataxia, your legs usually go first and then your arms do. So I'm trying to keep them for as long as I can. I was around, I would say eight or nine when I saw my first symptom. I remember I was in the fourth grade recess line and I just remember standing there and like swaying back and forth because my balance was off for some reason, and then um, we found it while I was diagnosed when I was 12, and I got the wheelchair when I was 13, so eighth grade was my first year. And I, actually, I actually made up a lie to everyone that I got injured in a softball accident. That's why I'm in a wheelchair. But then eventually as the years went on, I never got out of the wheelchair. People were like, um, there's some treatments for the secondary symptoms for Friedrich's ataxia, which are like spine problems and heart problems, but there's no cure for the actual disorder. The doctors is probably my home away from home, really. Um, I would say they're part of my family, just because of how much I see them. Um, I have so many different doctors, it's kind of ridiculous. I would say reading is probably my biggest hobby. I just like living someone else's life. Oh, makeup is my other hobby. Um, not really good at doing my own makeup or doing other people's makeup, but it's really fun to spend money. And my friend, or my, her, I love you and thank you for never giving up on me. They're really born, obviously I got this tattoo for them. It says, my life is your life, and it's what they always say to me. They've said to me since I've been diagnosed. Um, my dad always tells me, like, if he could give up his body for me, he wouldn't hurt me. It's not even, like, a thought. Um... My whole family is really supportive. Eventually, my goals in the future, are I wanna start writing. And it's been my dream ever since I've been diagnosed to write an autobiography about myself and my disorder. I'm Kimberly Ballard and I'm Lindsay's caretaker. Um, we became, well, we first met when we were five years old in kindergarten, and we became best friends all throughout grade school. And then Lindsay ended up transferring to a different school, so we lost touch. And when I was about 13, we were both 13, um, we got back in touch, and that was when I found out she was carrying this disease and that she was in a wheelchair. And I was completely surprised. I was very shocked. Um, when I was little and we used to hang out, I n didn't even notice the signs and the symptoms because I was so young. And so I didn't really, I didn't understand. Um, and when we started hanging out again, it was all new to me. I was very confused at times, but I learned a lot. And um, 
We always got through it. And it never once made her negative. Lindsay always stayed positive through the beginning of the diagnosis and everything. Um, and now I am her caretaker. It's fun at times, it is, because I just get to hang out with my best friend. But um, also, it's just interesting and sometimes overwhelming, but it makes our it makes our friendship stronger. And that's what I love about it. And I feel like I have more time for family and friends and just to appreciate everything. <laughs>